Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today I wanted to talk about the best professions for Season of Discovery Phase 4. Now, whether you're going to be looking for the best rating professions or the best gold-making professions, I'm going to cover both of them. But in Sod, it's pretty straightforward for what's going to be best in rating. We've seen it in Phase 1, 2, and 3 of Sod thus far. So it'll be primarily focused on the gold-making side of things and the things that you're able to do with these professions. But before we get into the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything you guys do helps my channel grow helps me get discovered and helps me help as many people as possible which is the entire point of my channel so without further ado let's get into the video so the best rating professions are essentially going to be tailoring leatherworking and blacksmithing depending on your class so like if you're a cloth user tailoring if you are a uh, leather or male user leatherworking or if you are a man a plate where it's going to be blacksmithing and then engineering paired with those mainly in sod is because of these unique items that we see like this helmet right here the uh neural linked arcano filament module this is the phase two tailoring epic or these fractured mind pauldrons which is the tailoring phase three epic so those have been in here and these are great for most caster dps if you are like a boomkin be aware that it could also be tailoring instead of leatherworking it just really depends on your class but definitely check that out before you make this decision i'm just generally speaking um there are a few niche examples where it changes like warriors wanted leatherworking in phase one because the leatherworking epic was more dps than the male one from blacksmithing so just make sure you are aware of that and don't just take my generalization for uh complete true fact always then next we're going to talk about the gold making side of things so for me i think the best profession combo and this is even for rating especially if you're a caster and cloth user is going to be tailoring and enchanting one it is just it has a passive uh, uh, gold income of just simply disenchanting everything you get and you can do your moon cloth uh cooldown on cooldown every four days and you can make a decent amount of gold doing that so just the sheer amount of being able to disenchant and do your cooldown is huge and then as well as with sod and the enchanter's rune buff as well as the epics that you get from tailoring it can also be one of the highest parsing uh sort of specs and builds so if you're a priest warlock mage a boomkin you should consider going this for its gold making and its raiding capabilities to go more in depth with it enchanting you will um make a ton you can make a ton of gold by enchanting an aura however it does require the initial investment of getting the rod as well as the investment of going out there and either buying recipes or farming each and every one of them that people are going to need for their in-game builds and then obviously you're going to make sure that you have an add-on or weak aura to compete with people especially if you're on a bigger server most people have it and can either share it with you or you can find it i actually don't know of one for sod because i haven't been in the servicing uh with enchanting industry since og classic but i did have an add-on called enchanter that worked really well back then um also with sod we don't have enchanting vellums yet but we might see them because it is sod that'd be a really cool change to see and would help a lot of people i think then tailoring we'll need to see the, the gear overhaul to really determine what patterns are going to be huge but two come to mind for the molten core and the phase uh four launch and that is going to be the robe of winter's night right here um this is a pretty hard pattern to get but it is pretty good for shadow priests and if mages end up going frost it'll be pretty good for them as well it's pretty cheap too and can be made early so there'll be people looking for that that haven't done their uh epic robe yet then there's also going to be fell cloth gloves now fell cloth gloves also have a super niche thing of needing demonic runes i'm personally saving all my demonic runes that i've gotten while farming satyrs for this so then i can go and get this pattern from dire mall 
and then I'll be able to provide warlocks and shadow priests with these gloves and you can charge a nice price for having the pattern and just getting the demonic runes you don't even have to get all the materials and craft the glove so those are two things that I think will definitely be good obviously massive gear overhaul incoming so that could change a lot of these things and we'll just have to wait and see Next is going to be leatherworking. So if you do end up going leatherworking engineering for a raid, the things that you can do with leatherworking is to go tribal leatherworking and focus on some pretty big patterns. The biggest one is going to be the hide of the wild. This one is a bis healing cloak that lasts for a very long time. You get it from Dire Mall as well. So it's really, really important that if you're trying to profit with leatherworking, you do this. But even if you don't want to go out there and get the patterns that are going to be very useful, you can also just use your salt shaker on CD. Very similar to Mooncloth. I've talked about it a bunch. So if you have alts, you have people like that, just make sure at the bare minimum you're making that Mooncloth. You're just shaking that salt. You'll make a ton of gold. And you can literally just buy it off the auction house and go and do that. Then next, we're going to talk about blacksmithing. So blacksmithing, the only real sort of profit makers I've seen have been putting mithril spurs on boots, uh, making enchanter rods, whether it's like true silver, arcanite, stuff like that. And then the other ones is going to be um, making sure that you get some uber patterns. If you're able to get those uber huge patterns like Lionheart Helmet, Titanic Leggings, something like that, you will be doing really, really well with those as well. But those uber patterns are really hard to get, so it might you know, be a little difficult for you in that sense. The next we're going to talk about alchemy. It's hard to say alchemy is like, this is going to be great. You should do this. You should make this because with the X-Mute specs that they added to Sod, you really need to be a potion master or a transmute master. You need to make sure that you have the specs if you're focusing on a profit with it. But some of the best things um, usually balance out whether you get bad RNG or good RNG. It'll average out to a profit from what I've seen in my testing that I've done on my alchemist. Um, but if they are especially like pattern recipes like Mongoose Elixirs and Greater Arcane Elixirs in Phase 4, those are going to do really well because people will all want them in MC. So with the um, Arcanite X-Mute, make sure you are an X-Mute Master if you're going to go after this because right now Arcane Crystals cost more than the bars because people can get those lucky procs. But people have told me I did not do Arcanite uh, X-Mute yet. It costs three bars to get into, so you have that barrier of entry, and then you can start doing your cooldown. But from you guys who have been doing it, you told me that you have made profit and seen good returns on it, so that is awesome data to have. Then when we come to engineering, there's not much profit with engineering other than sappers. Um, it is more of the use to parse and speed run and pump in raids. It has a lot of tinkering and stuff that makes your character better, and that's why it is the bis rating sort of spec to have. But other than that, outside of that, it doesn't really bring that huge profit making that you see with the other professions. Then finally, I want to talk about gathering and sort of fishing. It can be really great, especially if you have the professions to go with them. Fishing pairs incredible with tailoring and enchanting because you can fish up a lot of cloth. You can then tailor that cloth into things that you are able to disenchant. And you can make some serious, serious profit doing that. And then um another thing is that you also be able to cook some fish and tailoring and fishing also go or sorry fishing also goes really well with alchemy because a lot of the potions require fish that you fish up so i would if we're recommending professions i would recommend having tailoring and enchanting on your account as well as fishing and alchemy those are probably the best sort of professions to make the most gold it makes your character very self-sufficient you can sort of have your own economy going out there you're able to make your gear you're able to enchant your gear you're able to disenchant stuff and every single piece of that really really goes very nicely together but anyway, guys, that's it for this video. I truly hope it helped you sort of sharing all this profession information. I broke it down, and I'll have it tagged in the video so you'll be able to see what professions you really want to know the most about. And you can, you know, if you think I missed anything, anything you'd like to add, definitely let me know your secrets down below. I love sharing them, and I hope they, you know, help people out in whatever way that they might. But anyway, guys, that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.
If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day. And that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.